So, when you first launch Cheetah 3D, you will be faced with an empty document, a bit like this. Now, don't worry if your user interface looks a little bit different from mine, but fundamentally you'll end up with an empty, empty, empty universe. Uh, what you'll be able to see is the z-axis, which is blue always, and the, unless you change it in preferences, the x-axis, which is uh, red. And you don't see a y-axis because that would be because uh, it's only the, the XZ plane that we're looking at at the moment. So uh, uh, the, the mnemonic for this is simply RGB, red, green, blue, corresponds to XYZ in Cheetah 3D to kind of remember the order of things. So a lot of 3D programs use that convention. It's quite a good, good convention. So here's our world, and these lines represent you know the passage of distance in uh, the X and Z planes. If I create a cube, box, uh, you'll see that it now has a, an x-axis, a z-axis, and a y-axis that happen to correspond with the world's x, y, and z axes. Um, and, and I use this cursor by default, and I, I just wouldn't use any other cursor, just use this, this selection by default. You can actually, um, if you go into the toolbar, and I think this is by standards, you, or if you go, for example, you can have a move axis and a scale axis. And all that does is give you kind of like training wheels so you don't accidentally use the wrong thing. But they're, they're actually kind of inconvenient. So I just use this, which is the, the general purpose. Um, the, the general purpose does everything uh, tool. So when I click on this object, I can move it around in the Z axis, undo. Or I can move it around the X axis, undo. Or I can axis undo, or I can just move it around by clicking and dragging here. Now, where it's moving around is based on the view plane, so it's um, it's moving it's moving perpendicular to the, ca the direction the camera is pointing at the moment, and that's based on the last tool I picked. So if I pick the scale option and I drag on here, it becomes a scale tool. So this lets you scale along Z or along X, and I'm undoing after each one. Or And then finally, uh, we can rotate by clicking on these rings. So I can rotate around the y-axis or around the x-axis. Now, if you look very closely on here, anything I do here is reflected by these coordinates and values over here. Now, if you ever wondered what use all that trigonometry they forced you to learn in high school was useful for, the answer is 3D. So all this stuff is trigonometry. So that's your X, your Y, and your Z, um, and that's that's the world. So creating 3D objects simply consists of populating your world with, with 3D objects and arranging them until you like what you see. Okay, so if I wanted to make a block with a cylinder, I have just perfected it, it's, it's done. Uh, the most complex things that you tend to do in in uh, 3D will be when you don't want to use a standard primitive and you want to edit it manually, and it's called polygon editing, when you want to use modifiers to modify that thing. Let me just do a few quick examples. So if I don't like this cube exactly as it is, I want it to be a special custom cube, I can go in here, I can modify its parameters to start with. I can say I want it to be bigger in some particular dimension. And that's very different from scaling it, by the way. If you look at scaling, that affects these numbers over here. But if I change this number here, it affects the actual base object. And that's a very important distinction which we'll get to at some point. Um, so if I want to edit this cube, I can change the parameters. Let me let me give it a 2x section so it's got an even divide. If I double click on it, it turns it into an editable mesh. And now I can perform operations on the individual pieces of the mesh. So it's edges and it's points. faces. And you'll see as we go into modeling tools that you can do an incredible number of things with measures. Basically anything you can imagine you can do eventually with enough effort. So that is a quick and dirty simple intro to 3D. I hope that's useful.